Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on my latest UEFN beginner tutorial video that will show you a really quick and easy solution if you have a problem or the problem of things disappearing in your Fortnite creative level or UEFN level when you reach a certain distance. So usually that takes place if you, for example, have a huge island like this one. It's not that huge, but it's pretty big. Sometimes, often people have a lot bigger spaces that they want to fill out and they notice that on horizons, things like their lights or static meshes, prefabs, whatever you want, disappear. And then when the player gets close enough, they reappear. Now this is done for a purpose to kind of conserve the amount of processing power that is taking place on every level on every island but there is a way to override that for your let's call them special elements that you want to have visible in the distance so for example on this island let's say that this antenna is something that I want my player to see from any and every corner so I want to avoid having that issue of the antenna disappearing until you reach a relative closeness. Let's say that the same applies to my device, which is my customizable light. So how do I do that? Well, first of all, I'm going to select the antenna. As you can see, it's called Neo Title Antenna 101. And here I'm going to select Static Mesh and I'm going to search for CAL. C-U-L-L. -L. And here it is under advanced in LOD you have never call distance when enabled this object will not be called by distance this ignore if a child is a HLOD and we're going to set it to true again we're going to do the same thing for my light I'm going to select it here you have your customizable light but if you're just on the instance level as you can see the culling process is not present. But if I go for static mesh component, I again have LOD, never call distance, and I'm going to set it to true. So with this, my antenna and the same light should be visible, again, along with everything else that is a part of the same antenna, should be visible from any distance in my level on my island. You can do the same for basically anything else you want to do, but beware, there are often issues with the calling distance. So you might launch your level and see it's still present, the calling distance present. So you need to try and retry until you get it. But this is the process that is behind it. This is the process that will result in your objects being visible from every and any part of your level. There you go, that's the kind of basic idea behind the call distance or calling distance. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please consider supporting me. There is a bunch of ways how you can do that. You can buy my books on Amazon. You can become my Patreon supporter on my Patreon page. You can even do the simplest, cheapest and easiest thing and just subscribe to my channel and be here for my new videos. That's all for me. Thanks again. My name is Ivica. Have a great day and have loads of fun in your UEFN projects. Until my next video, bye bye.